In this problem, we have to find the area of the triangle formed by the lines y minus x equal to 0, x plus y equals to 0 and x minus k equal to 0, right? These two lines are perpendicular to each other. We can see that y minus x equal to 0. This line has the slope equals to 1 and this line has the slope equals to minus 1. Hence, these two lines are perpendicular to each other. That means these three lines are forming a right angle triangle, right? Now, what will be the approach of this problem? We can see that these two lines are passing through the origin. Hence, one vertex of the triangle will be at the origin. Another two vertex we can calculate and then after that we can find the area of the triangle. This one is the line y minus x equal to 0 and this line will pass through the origin. This one is the line x plus y equal to 0 and it will pass through the origin. And this is the line which is x equal to k, right? Now, these two lines are perpendicular to each other because the slope of this line equals to 1 and the slope of this line equals to minus 1. Hence, this one is a triangle which is the right angle triangle, right? To find the area of this triangle, we can apply the concept of area of the triangle equal to half base into height, right? First of all, we are going to find the coordinate of this point, right? And the coordinate of this point. After that, applying the distance formula, we can find base and the height. Now we are going to find the point of intersection of y minus x equal to 0 and x equal to k. Put the value of x equal to k here, you can get the value of y equal to k. Hence, the vertex of the triangle will be k comma k, right? That means this vertex will be k comma k. To find the point of intersection of the line x plus y equal to 0 and x equal to k, we have to solve these two equations and after solving you can get k comma minus k. That means this vertex will be k comma minus k. Now this one is the triangle OPQ which is right angle triangle. Now using the distance formula you can find the value of OP and OQ and after that area of the triangle will be equal to half OP into OQ. Right? Using the distance formula, we can find the value of OP. The coordinate of the point is 0, 0 and the coordinate of the point P is K, K. Hence, using the distance formula, you can find the distance OP equal to root over K minus 0 whole square plus K minus 0 whole square and it will come out root 2 K. In the similar way, we can find the distance OQ. The coordinate of the point O is origin and the coordinate of the point Q is K, K minus K, right? Hence, OQ will come out root 2K from the distance formula. After putting the value of OP and OQ, we can find the area of the triangle and that will come out K square after simplification.